Hello there. The Chinese aircraft carrier, the Fujian, has been fitting out at the Jianan shipyard ever since it was launched in June 2022, displacing around 85,000 tons. She's the largest aircraft carrier outside of the United States. On the 26th November 2023, the Type 003 carrier, the Fujian, has started what is termed the dead load launch testing for her electromagnetic catapult system. This was confirmed by footages circulating on the Chinese internet, which has spread to Western social media websites, such as X, formerly known as Twitter. The footage first appeared on China's social media platform Weibo. It was filmed from an airplane flying above the Jianan shipyard on the way to Shanghai city. Images and videos taken from passenger planes are a common source of visual information on the progress of the Type 003 carrier, the Fujian. This is made possible because the Changxing Island, on which the Jianan shipyard is located, lies on the way to the northern approach to the standard Shanghai International Airport. The shipyard becomes visible shortly before landing, so everything can be seen, including what's going on in the military parts of the shipyard. I'm about to play you the video. It is very short, at only around 8 seconds. Pay attention to the start of the video. You should be able to observe a highly visible splash in the water right in front of the Fujian, based on the direction the ship is facing. Here we go. The shed on the catapult has been removed for some time. A test vehicle was launched from one of the two forward catapult positions, keeping in mind the Fujian has a third catapult that crosses over its angled flight deck. The test vehicle dropped into the water shortly afterwards. Here's a photograph of the test vehicle or one of the vehicles. Like with all the other vehicles used in similar tests, it is painted in orange. Several large orange objects representing these test vehicles have been spotted beside the vessel in recent weeks. Footages of a similar test done on the US Navy's Gerardar Ford show many of the same features. The space in front of the Fujian was cleared of all vessels and obstacles shortly before the test. The test is generally referred to as a dead load test. Dead load testing are universal for all modern catapult equipped aircraft carriers, also known as cattle bar carriers, providing they have arrestor cables, which all of them do. This is done usually before the carrier sea trials, and sometimes after major overhauls. This was done, for example, for the Gerald R. Ford and the French Navy's Charles de Gaulle, which recently underwent an overhaul. The dead load test is so named because there is a dead weight, weighing up to 80,000 pounds, that simulates the weight of a fully loaded carrier aircraft. The dead weight is the steel vehicle attached to the launching shuttle on the catapult. The carrier must launch the vehicle to prove that the catapult and each of its components are working properly. Based on the footage of the test of the Fujian and the distance its catapult managed to propel the vehicle, that particular launch appeared to be successful although it is only one of the many launches conducted as part of the test, and we have no idea what proportion of these were successful. The dead load test stands in contrast to the aptly named no loads test, where there is nothing attached to the catapult shuttle. A no loads test is only supposed to demonstrate the integration of the catapult system onto the ship. So the dead load test is a more advanced step in the process of testing the Fujian's catapult system. 
Previously, the PLA naval watchers in China had expected the Fujian to undertake sea trials in 2023. This was due to the fact that, in an interview by the Global Times, a senior captain of the Fujian stated unambiguously that the carrier will undertake sea trials in 2023. However, it's obviously late in the year, and we haven't seen that happen as of yet. So it's very possible that the initial sea trials will be pushed out to early 2024. It is worth noting that the Fujian represents a project never undertaken by China before, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that the timeline doesn't quite meet the more optimistic expectations held by some of the PLA watching community. The past construction of the elder Chinese carriers, the Liaoning and the Shandong, is far less complex than that of the Fujian, in part because they don't have catapults they have to test. The U.S. Navy took a long time to ready the catapult of one of its new super carriers, the Gerald R. Ford. The Ford was launched in October 2013. The very first dead load testing on the Ford was undertaken in June 2015, or 20 months later. In comparison, the dead load testing of the Fujian, launched in June 2022, is being done about 17 months after launch. This is broadly similar to the Gerald R. Ford in terms of timeline. The Ford's catapult. Also known as Emos, was tested at sea in July 2017, but problems persist with its reliability. The Ford's catapult went through an average of 181 aircraft launches between each operational failure. This represents a far higher rate of failure than the requirement, which is 4,166 launches on average between failed launches. Additionally, the Ford's advanced arresting gear also suffered reliability issues. The advanced arresting gear saw ten failures during its first 747 sorties, well below acceptable levels of reliability. It was only in the middle of 2022 that the reliability of the Ford system had reached an acceptable level, and the Ford had attained initial operating capability. Whether China's PLA Navy will experience the same problems to a similar extent as the Ford remains to be seen. If you want to understand the progress of the Fujian since June 2022, please watch this video right here. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit the like button. See you next time.